Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about translations. Our learning goal for this video is that you'll be able to apply translations and describe them with a mapping. That's a kind of transformation rule. Okay, so translations are just one of four major types of transformations. When I say transform, that means implies we're changing it in some way. So we are changing these geometric figures in some way. Okay, you learned about these in middle school. The four types of transformations are translations, dilations, reflections, and rotations. Okay, some other terms that you need to know just about transformations in general is that the original figure is called the pre-image. Also, that would imply that after you perform the transformation, then the new figure is called the image. Okay, so now let's look specifically at translations. So a translation is a transformation in which the figure slides to a new location. We haven't changed anything else about the figure, it's just slid to a new location. Okay, so let's look at an example. All right, so here's this trapezoid, A, B, C, D. Yes, that is a trapezoid, check the definition. All right, we're going to translate it two units left and three units down. Okay, so that means I'll just take each one of the vertices, the A, B, C, and D points, and move them two units left and three units down. Okay? Make sure when you count that you're counting the spaces, not the uh, corners of the grid. Okay, so I have moved the coordinate for A, two units left and three units down. Okay, that forms the coordinate A prime. That's how I say that thing there, okay? The little apostrophe is a prime, so that point, you say that as a prime. Okay, so I can draw the other coordinates in on there by moving them to left and three down. Okay, there's B prime, C prime, and D prime. All right, and I'll go ahead and connect the dots to form the new figure. Okay. There, we just slid that tra trapezoid to a new location. And the new trapezoid is called A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Let's get the coordinates off of that picture. So the coordinates for A are negative 4, negative 1. The coordinates for B are negative 2, negative 1. The coordinates for C looks like 0, negative 4. And the coordinates for D are negative 3, negative 4. Okay, so now there's this thing in the table called a mapping. Well, what is that? Okay, so a mapping describes what happens to the xy coordinates. So in this one, we translated it two left and three down, but what does that change about the coordinate points themselves? Okay, well, let's take a look. If I look at the coordinates for A, the x started at negative 2, it ended at negative 4. The b started at 0, ended at negative 2. c started at 2, ended at 0. What is happening to all of those numbers? Well, that x-coordinate is being subtracted by 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. We are subtracting by 2. So I can write this in the mapping as x minus 2. Okay, so that's saying I'm taking x and I'm subtracting 2 from it. What about the y's? So this y started at 2, ended at negative 1. This one started at 2, ended at negative 1, started at negative 1, ended at negative 4. Okay, so we're taking all of those y-coordinates and subtracting by 3. So our mapping rule is going to be y minus 3 for that part, because we took all the y-coordinates and we subtracted by 3. That's in accordance with how we moved the figure three units down, which is negative in the y-direction. Down is negative, so that means we're going to have y minus 3. Okay, so let's look at Let's kind of put this together with some other examples. Okay, so our first question here is what would be the mapping for a translation four units right and three units up? Well, 
we know that 2 left and 3 down came out to be x minus 2 and y minus 3 from that previous example. So what do you think it would be for 4 units right and 3 units up? Pause the video real quick, write it down, and see if you get it right. Okay, so to move 4 units right, okay, to the right is positive in the x direction. So whereas 2 left m subtracted from the x coordinate, 4 units right would add to the x coordinate. So I would take all the x's and add 4. 3 units up, well up is positive in the y direction, so I would say that this would be y plus 3, and I would be right. So a mapping for a translation to the right and up is adding to the coordinates. Okay, let's look at the next one. What would be the mapping for a translation 8 units left? Well, left is negative in the x direction, so that would be x minus 8. I would be taking each x-coordinate and subtracting 8. What's happening to y? Well, nothing. We're not moving it up or down. So that means that that y-coordinate will, will stay the same. This, that notation is just shorthand for x, y changing to that. So y here is staying y there. Nothing is happening to y. Whereas x here is changing into x minus 8. We're subtracting 8 from x. Sorry for being a bit repetitive. Okay, but I think you got it. So, just a couple other quick notes. So after a translation, the image is congruent to the original figure. Okay? We, all we did was slide it. We didn't actually change the dimensions. Okay? And this is called an isometry, whenever the figure remains congruent to its original, fig to its original form. Okay, that's it. So we'll be looking at some more translations during class. See you guys later.